So I have no idea when this video will be uploaded, but hopefully it is uploaded sometime before the $1,000 pack. Now, you know, I will be quite honest with you about the economic situation. Uh, the home, if you own a home, you will know that you are going to be taxed a lot more. I received the ISD tax, which is for school. It's around $6,000 for me uh, for a year, but it's all payable by January 31st. I received the HCID tax, which is, I don't know why we have two different people. We have a Bob and we have an Ann, and each of these people want about 3,500 a pop. So that is 7,000 plus six, $13,000 plus homeowner association fees of about 1,100. So they can mail me threatening letters to clean my yard or paint my fence a certain color. Or, oh, you know, hey, you didn't get pre-approval to build a new fence. So all in all, that's about 15 to 17. And you might be like, why is it kind of a range? Uh, it, <laughs> it's uh, weird, right? So what happened in many places, including my home, is my home property went from about, I purchased this home at 340000 the value in Zillow is north of half a million and the property assessment of my home is around half a million now. Some of them will have them up a little bit up, some have a little bit down, but for the most part, all of the tax people have assessed my home around, around half a million dollars, which means I get the honor of paying that much taxes into the system. You might be like, oh, well, what does this have to do with magic? What does this have to do with sports card investment? Take care of your own finances before you go buy these things. These are luxury items. You have to pay taxes. Obviously, tax season will be upon us soon. And things are just out of control expensive right now. I went to Costco to buy king crab and <laughs> it's just no, it's, it's no good. The prices on these things are just skyrocketing into oblivion and you can spend a lot of money on your hobbies and your sports cards and but like it's a holiday season you know to be part of society you have to give gifts. I always give my mailman a gift you know for getting mail safely to me we'll see how he does this Friday. <laughs> I have a very important piece of mail coming Friday that the person did not put tracking on it, even though I told her and paid her, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's just keep my fingers crossed that that piece of mail is not lost because it will be a headache for me, but mostly for her if it gets lost. Yeah, you do have to do Christmas stuff. You do have to make, I always donate during Christmas time, but I always make sure I pay off all my taxes and things. It's very easy to get carried away. I made videos and that were very positive, but very honest. And I don't think many people make them. If you like opening packs, that is a form of addiction. That is a form of gambling, right? You're opening a pack, which is a mystery. Sometimes you open a mystery box with a mystery pack with mystery cards. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's all types of mysteries that you can layer upon it. Every time that there's another layer of mystery, you're paying for that, of course, right? for that extra little box around your pack, which is extra little box around that pack and so on. Things are economically gonna be difficult for at least a year, I predict. Many people are predicting two years. I could see it. I could see a scenario where two year, the next two years are very difficult financially. I'm hoping that we're done this by a year, that things have changed for the better. Um, in my humble opinion, you definitely have to look at, uh, you know, who's in president, who's the president, some of the political decisions. I know a lot of you don't believe he actually can make it, but the, like I said, it's not even like the decisions being made. It's the idea that somebody's making them. It's the concept of the bank run. It's not the idea that the bank has no money. It's the idea, oh, my neighbor's in line. I, I see all my friends in line. I got to get in line, right? You don't even know, <laughs> you don't even know why you're in line. You're just kind of in line because everyone else is in line. Uh, it's a, the hard mentality, if you will. 
And I just warn you, you know, as somebody who pays a lot of blanking taxes, the taxes are way higher this year. Um, property tax, like at least in Texas, I don't know if it's the different states. We don't have state tax. Uh, we have property tax a lot, and that's how they get you. I mean, the government is always going to fund themselves. Don't worry about the government not being able to fund themselves. They will find new ways. And everyone's property value went up. My property value went up, and I, you know, almost 50%. So I get to pay 50% more taxes than I did when I originally bought this home. fantastic you know it's the same home if anything i think my home got less valuable because i got more dogs and foster dogs and you know obviously they damaged the home it's just one of these things i want to warn you about is take care of your fine before you go buy some more pokemon magic thousand dollar magic packs take care of your finances make sure that you're you know you write checks and that's what i'm actually doing right now i have a stamps and i'm going to start paying off the things and calculating how much money i have and what type of gifts i can get everyone for christmas you know i always do the gift buying so i, I pay off everything i calculate it and then you know i put it you know i don't obviously touch that money right <laughs> that'd be awful if the government you know <laughs> tried to take money out and you give them a check that didn't about you give them a check that bounced <laughs> oh man <laughs> just take care of your stuff if you have car loans you know i know that student loans is very taboo right now to talk about because no one's paid them forever but eventually you will have to pay your student loans again because the recremorial or whatever they want to call it the moratorium whatever they call it uh will expire and you'll have to pay these loans off um if you didn't get your student loan forgiveness by then then we'll see what happens right as you're recording this video i don't know what's going to happen I assume it's going to get pushed through because I don't really think the legal arguments are that solid. But you never know. Supreme Court takes the case. I mean, they're the ones who got rid of Roe versus Wade, which is a very, you know, obviously very, very near and dear to Joe Biden's party. So uh, we'll see what happens. It definitely is a Republican Supreme Court. If they get their hands on the student loan forgiveness plan, they will absolutely veto it um, because they're a Republican Supreme Court. And that is the, it's called the checks and balances system of the American government. And be careful, save money, be smart with your money. Like as a person who has maybe a gambling problem, I, I guess maybe, I, you know, really do reflect, this is the time where things can get really bad. Uh, it's always the holidays when you overspend, you spend too much on this vacation, you buy yourself a nice car or yacht, you, you open some Pokemon cards, and you, maybe you buy a case of Pokemon cards and it might not seem like a big deal, but when your taxes are due, when your ISD or whatever is all due, so even you might, oh, I rent, I don't have to worry about, yeah, that's all calculated in your rent, you, you realize that that your landlord calculates how much taxes he pays and so on into your daily, monthly rent. Be careful about money uh, during the holidays, especially this holiday. If you can save, my recommendation is to save. Um, I'm a glutton for holiday puns. Like if I look at my credit card bills, they do spike a lot because I'm a big fan of sales. I don't know, it's maybe just I'm Asian. And, you know, I look at it and say, oh, I, you know, another toaster. It's owed me $50. But guess what? It used to be $500. Let me get a few of those. Because, of course, I love eating toast bread, right? No, I, I don't eat bread. Uh, be careful during holidays. Be very tight with your money if you can. I do, my gut feeling tells me things are going to get much worse before they get better. And the last thing you need is a you know a thousand dollar pack of magic cards. So that's the only thing that I'm going to say. I haven't me personally. I'll be honest. I haven't decided if I'm going to buy a lot or buy a little or buy any at all. Um, but for God's sake, pay your taxes before you buy some of this. Make sure that everything is tidied up. And that's why I'm doing this right now because if I do decide to buy the magic 30th anniversary, at least everything's been paid off, right? And I have. It's like, you know, if you know you have problems, you can at least mitigate the consequences of the problems by doing what you should do earlier. 
Uh, that's why my house is paid off, my car is paid off, I have escrow for my employees for the next year. All of 2023 is already in escrow, assuming they don't have raises and so on. Again, it's a little, slightly, it's a little bit of wiggle. Everything in life, you have to have some wiggle room. You have to over put money, you have to put more money in the account than you think that you need at the time. So you're not gonna calculate to actual penny. I always put in 10% more than I think is the maximum I need just in case. Uh, and that applies for employee salaries as well. Be careful guys, it is the holidays. It's really easy to get, trust me, it is very easy to get carried away. Uh, and you know, have have fun holidays, man. But if you can, I, I would personally recommend, hey, save, save some money. Uh, you, you, nobody needs to buy more magic or Pokemon packs, honest to God. But if it's fun, something that you enjoy doing, nah. Hi <laughs> guys.